Beth, first of all, how are the squad looking ahead of facing Nigeria on Monday? Yeah, no, the squad are feeling good. I think we're excited. We're obviously happy to have made it out of the group stages. And yeah, now focus turns to Nigeria and hopefully we can have a good game and give the fans what they want to see. How did you find the change in shape against China? Did you prefer it? I think it suited us for that game. I think it was a good tactical decision from Serena. Um, obviously, it's their choice what they choose per game. We take each game differently. Every team has a different challenge. So, um, yeah, we'll see what the next game brings. So there'll potentially be a different look for England again? It could be, yeah. Who knows what's going on in Serena's mind, but she makes the final decision and whatever she decides as a team will stick by it. And, yeah, hopefully we get the job done. What role does Serena want you to play in this tournament? Me personally, uh, I don't. I obviously, I won't delve into all the conversations I've had. But as it stands, my role is to just be ready when I'm called upon, and if I'm needed, I am ready. And if I'm not, then my part is to do the best for what I can for the team playing on the pitch and in training. What's your relationship like with Serena? It's good. Yeah, I think definitely over the last year we've got a much more stronger bond. I think um, even though I've been away from the group for a while, we were always still in contact, having good conversations. So I knew exactly where I stood with her. Um, so yeah, we've got a really good, open and honest dynamic. There was such a special moment for you making your World Cup debut against Denmark. How much did that mean, especially after a difficult six months prior? Yeah, it meant a lot. I think the only thing I said that dampened it was that my family weren't there to see it, uh, but they were out for the China game, so that was equally nice that I managed to get on in that game as well. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been a tough six months. I think everyone knows that. Um, it's been a fighting challenge for me, but I think I've been able to show why I'm here and hopefully I can continue to perform well and, and show up on the pitch. How key was your move to Tottenham in securing your World Cup spot? Yeah, I mean, look, everyone knows it was instrumental. I think if I would have stayed at Chelsea, I wouldn't have got the game time that I needed. I wouldn't have got the confidence back that I know I needed. And also, I wouldn't have been scoring the goals. So I think for me, moving um, helped me in more ways than one, I think, as a person and as a player. And yeah, it gave me a bit more of a different role to play. At Spurs, I was seen more probably as a leader there than I would have been at Chelsea, because there's a lot of leaders there. Um, so it was a different role to play, but one I felt like I thrived in and was able to help the team. And I think they all thanked me so much at the end of the season, but I don't think I can give my thanks in big enough to them and how they repaid me and what they did for me as well. What does Serena say that you need to improve on in order to get more game time with England? It's more so, look, the talent that we've got up top, whether that's me, Alessia or Rach, um, is 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 a tough decision to make for any manager I guess and I think we've all got our different attributes I know I'm good in the air I know I can use both feet um, I know my hold up play is good but probably could do more in linking play driving with the ball more taking on 1v1 players that's probably not so much my game so there's little areas that we all individually get asked to work on and that's what we use in our IDPs and training so hopefully I can continue to keep building on those and keep impressing them. Do you feel as though you've got a point to prove? Do you know what? I don't think the pressure's on me because six months ago, no one even expected me to be here. Um, and I think my football did the talking for me and that I don't need to sit here and say words because I'm fortunate that I am here, not just by luck, but through hard work. But yeah, I think it's just if the time comes and I'm called upon, then all I have to do is stay clear, stay calm and just do the job that I know I can do. How much did it mean getting that phone call then for World Cup selection? There must have been such emotion but also a sense of relief that your hard work had paid off. Yeah I honestly didn't think it was gonna happen if I'm being completely honest. There was obviously an element of Do you know what I've done all right here I've scored quite a lot of good goals but th goals doesn't always mean that you're having a good season. You, you, there's more aspects to the game than just scoring goals as a striker um, but when that call eventually come yeah I, I a million times I've said this played it cool on the phone got off the phone screamed my house down scared the life out of my dogs but yeah it was more just of a relief that everything that I'd gone through, all the change, and there was hardship and struggles within that six months, like everyone has, but it made it all worth it, and now I'm able to be here doing the job that I love. And I've not even just been here, I've actually played in it as well, which does make it a lot more special for me. And you played really well as well, so you, feel, you must feel as though you've turned a corner. Thanks, firstly. Um, but yeah, no, I, I'm feeling confident, I'm feeling good. I think what's helped me is that I ended the season on in a good place and that it's helped me to continue to progress here. Um, 
I know that I feel like my manager and my teammates trust me and I know I'm a confidence player so when I am confident you'll always get the best out of me. Has your first World Cup experience been everything you wanted it to be? Yeah, to be honest, I didn't know what to expect. I think it's more getting to see the different cities, the wildlife, and that that's more been a bit of like, oh, that's cool that we've finally seen that, like whale watching and, again, all the kangaroos and stuff, which we've not stopped talking about. But I think in terms of tournament, it's been such an exciting one, whether we've been involved in it, in the plane, sorry, and then watching it. We've seen big teams get knocked out, which you wouldn't have expected. So I think what I love about tournament football is that anything can happen and never underestimate the underdog because... As we've seen, uh, big teams have already been knocked out. Talking of that, did you watch the Germany game? I did, yeah. Yeah, it was a bit of a chaotic one. And uh, obviously Morocco clearly watching, watching it after they'd finished to hear the news. So it, was, it just shows the highs and lows of football. Like one minute you think you're safe and the next minute you're not. So I think it's just making sure you don't, I guess, misinterpret how far you can go in this competition or not. We spoke to Lauren Hemp yesterday and she's saying that she's watching every single game. Are you doing the same? Or yeah, you... I'm a bit annoyed actually. I was just watching the Norway game, but you dragged me out. So I'm, kind of, I'm kind of missing that now. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, obviously we, I love to watch football and I love to keep uh, an eye on what's going on in the teams because you never know if, if you do get to the next round or which teams you have been facing, you could face them. Um, so I think it's always important to watch, but also it's just, it's just good and exciting as well. How does Serena create such a calm but also that winning mentality within this group? I don't think it's just Serena. I think naturally as footballers and professional athletes we have that winning mentality built within us so it doesn't take a lot to want to drive the team. Luckily for us we've got a group of many players that are born winners and winners with their clubs as well so I think everyone in the team drives the standards and Serena's just the messenger to keep relying that but she doesn't need to do much to make us want to win. Talking of winners, I believe you got a tattoo when England won the Euros. I did, yeah. <laughs> Can we expect the same again if England win the World Cup? Yeah, I know. I, this is a theme now, I think. I've set off. Um, but yeah, I've, I've said that I will get a tattoo, uh, probably of a kangaroo, and the day if, I do, uh, if we do win. So um, it would be nice, yeah. It would be nice to add it. I've got a few animals now, but it would be a nice one to add that as well.